Hi, I'm Angelica and I do A-Level PE. Hi Angelica, so first of all, why did you choose to study A-Level PE? Well, I chose it because it would definitely help me in my future career plans because I want to be a paramedic, so obviously I'd go for uni or degree apprenticeship, so there will be lots of links, especially with the anatomy and physiology side of things, which is also helps link with biology and stuff, which I also take. Um, so on that, so you take biology, what's your other subject um, and where else are the links? It's business, obviously, it's a bit harder to link, but again, um, you'll be working, I'll be working for the NHS or if I want to go to private, I'll be working for a different company, so either way it will be really helpful because of the real life links and you have to work under a business no matter what you do in life. How is A Level P getting you ready then for post 18 specifically? Um, I'd say also because in PE you get into more specific details of how muscles contract and everything, whereas PE you don't really go into that much detail, you kind of do like more the sciencey side of it, but PE is more kind of practical, which definitely helps my understanding and I can visualise it better and understand it better as well. What's been your most, uh, your most memorable moment in A Level PE? Um, I would say in year 12 I did, well we did a lesson with Miss Shipway about wave summation and she taught it in a really really nice practical way so she was throwing tennis balls at us and we had to catch them and to represent each different type of the waves that happened through like the nervous system and things so it was really good to help like wake us up and just get us really like kind of involved and interactive so I really enjoyed that. What skills do you need to be a really effective A-level PE student? Um, you definitely have to enjoy sport 100% um, and obviously there's different sub, like types of topics in PE as well, so probably just a general love for sport. Um, you also have to play a sport um, and you also have to be like prepared, organised and obviously remember to bring the right books to the right lesson and stuff, especially because we had three red books last year for all three different, so you really had to pay attention to that and just be like really hard working and stuff to manage it well. What should applicants absolutely know about A-level PE? Um, so there's three main kind of topics or subjects about PE. So there's anatomy and physiology, there's sports society and sports psychology. 70% um, of it is theory, so it's more than GCC, which was 60-40. Um, coursework is 15% and practical is 15%. And if you want to know what sports you can do, then check the AQA website because um, obviously it's quite a big list. Um, um, I don't think that's pretty much it. I think. How would you best describe A-level PE in three words? Definitely diverse, because obviously you do the three subjects and they're all quite different, but some of them do link quite nicely, especially with um, like the sports psychology, sports society. They all really link together quite nicely, I think. Um, I find it quite mind opening, especially with the sports society side. Like, there's so many things that influence like elite athletes and everything at the grassroots level, and things that I never realised before. But actually, wait, that makes so much sense when I hear about it, and how you and you can understand how you could like what you can do yourself to change it or to improve society through sport and everything. So yeah. And then any other just comments, just for potential applicants? Anything else? Any words of wisdom? Um, not really, but definitely be prepared, I think, because obviously it is quite a lot, it's A-levels, it's a lot harder than GCSE, more content, but it's, I really do enjoy it, so I highly recommend choosing PE.